Hey everybody, this is the last one in GameCube. Welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we did like five side quests in Seon City's Commoner Quarters. And in this episode, we're gonna start another side quest and head on further into the story. Now, going over here. Oh, why is Inaba going in circles? That's kind of funny. Uh, going over here, there's gonna be a. Postman somewhere around here. Come on, where are you, man? Oh, there he is. Uh. Wow, I'm on fire today. I'm as light as ever. No time to lose, then. Ah, you couldn't be walking on water. Oh well. I've never actually gotten him to do that before. What do you want? You want a race? I'll give you a run for your money. This is basically the same thing as Ida. Only he's slightly more difficult. And there's like only one place to there are only two places to cut him off. Ow, oh, come on! You spawned that spike ball the split second I could hit him. Yeah. Power slashing nor stopping time will work. Neither power slashing nor stopping time will work. Oh I missed him again. You're gonna need to keep on him and keep your camera zoomed out. Why am I not speeding up? There we go. Ah, friggin'. Well, we stay over here. Oh, what the hell? Ah, this is gonna take forever at this rate. Cut ahead to one to headbutt him. Okay, finally, it took a lot longer than it should have. You already? So you got one victory now. Uh, I think we're gonna talk to him again as soon as we're done with what we need to do next. Okay, so I'm going to meet you guys over at Sasa Sanctuary. Okay, now that we're here at Sasa Sanctuary, and look, that guy is still dancing the same dance that he was dancing when we unlocked the Mermaid Fountain. Yeah, well, actually completed the first digging minigame, rather. Now what we have to do is go through here again. If you missed anyth anything like any treasures or any other birds that you could have fed, now is a good time to do it because we're not going to be coming back here again. And here we are. We have Mr. Bamboo and Kaguya. The gods be praised. Is it really you, Kaguya? I never thought I'd see you again after the Emperor suddenly summoned you to Seon City. Dear Kaguya. Feels like ages since we last met, Grandfather. Hey, look at those new wrinkles. Look at those new wrinkles. Have I worried you? Grandfather. I thought you guys would run into each other here. I'm happy for you two. Let's live together happily ever after. We can sell my bamboo or just you and me. Huh? Or, uh, huh? What's wrong, Kaguya? You have to return to the Emperor? No, that's not it. I cannot live with you, Grandfather. I'm well, you're running away from something, are you? I didn't know you were here, Grandfather. It would have been better if we had not met before I departed. Departed? Where are you going? I'm not sure. The royal crest curved into the earth here in South Sanctuary. It calls to me. Clearly it does, if she's able to do that. And look! Wow, weird camera angle on a Matarasu. What are you doing? Hello, this crisp far below the earth, something linked to my mysterious past awaits. I must go. I must see what lies within this hole. And yup, guess what you have to do? Time for yet another digging mini game. Uh. Yeah, luckily the- uh, freaking- How the hell did that happen? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna wait for Kaguya to turn around. Uh, 
What? I didn't mean to do that. Ah, crap. I might just go around this way, I think. Whoa. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, hey, we're almost at the... Oh, wait, never mind. We're not almost at the bottom. Okay, so... This one's not too bad if you know what you're doing. Okay, Kaguya, turn around over here. And go once he gets in the water, I'm gonna bloom her up. Okay, now it's getting kind of hard to see with the sunlight getting in the way. Well, the sunlight getting in the way is a TV screen. Yeah, I'm still record. I always record this stuff during the daytime. I really wish there weren't so many windows here. The only way I could properly see is if... Ow. Yeah, the only way I could properly see is if... Ow. Yeah, the only way I could properly see is if I draw the celestial brush. Ah, freaking... Okay, so far I'm not having any troubles. Now that I mentioned, I'm probably going to fail. Oh, like I did just now. Okay. Dig the hole quickly. Good. And we're at the bottom. Now I'm just going to draw a circle around here. Uh, freaking. What? Why is it not working? Oh. <laughs> I did not even mean to draw a win, and that was a really unintentionally cool speedrunning tactic. <laughs> I might actually use that in future playthroughs. Uh, that was amazing. Bamboo girl? What the heck? Looks like a bamboo shoot, except it's metal and it's insanely huge. That looks nothing like a bamboo shoot, man. This is what was calling me. It's a link to my mysterious past. Kaguya, I knew. I knew that this giant bamboo shoot was buried here in Sasa Sanctuary. You did? But... One day, many years ago, I came here to cut down some bamboo. Suddenly, this giant bamboo shoot appeared right before my eyes. Your cold and nearly lifeless body came tumbling out. Then, this giant bamboo shoot appeared back into the ground. You were as cold as ice, and it looked like you might die at any minute. I quickly picked you up and rushed home. My dearly departed wife and I nursed you back to health. You had always wanted a child. You were like a blessing from the heavens. You brought joy into our lives. I couldn't tell you the truth. I fear that if you found out, you would seek this, this strange bamboo shoot. I fear that it would take you away from us forever. Don't go! Don't go, Kaguya! Grandfather. <laughs> Mr. Bamboo is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the son of you and my dearly departed grandmother as my real family. And that feeling shall never fade. Though I may leave with you, my heart remains with you. Wait, leave you, not leave with you. Wow, I'm an idiot. Remember that, but I cannot stay here with you. A mysterious force is calling me. I cannot resist it. I must discover where I came from. Don't worry, I will come back to you. I just need to know. So I beg you, Hooker Ear, Grandfather dear, sink me off with a smile on your face. Okay, I will, Kaguya. Go wherever you may. I only ask that when you get there, you remember one thing. You are my precious grandchild. Never forget that. You are my dearest, most precious grandchild. Oh, grandfather! His precious grandchild. Huh? Oh, I wasn't thinking about home or anything, really. Right. I'm at Terasu, Isun. 
<laughs> I like how he said Isum first. I'm forever grateful to you. I could never thank you enough for what you did for me. But please accept this as a token of my appreciation. The fire tablet. This allows you to wa to swim in lava. It was my soul link to my mysterious past. But now that I'm returning home, I shall need it no longer. May it help you in your travels. It is top. Ah, excuse me. I was that omelet is still creeping up on me. Time for me to depart. Thank you, you two. Thank you, grandfather. Farewell, and we, maybe we meet again someday. I don't blame you, Mr. Bamboo. Well, it's gone. Wonder where it's headed. I hope that Bamboo girl has a safe journey wherever it leads. Hey, Ami, get the lead out. We got sidetracked helping that Bamboo girl. I like how he says that we got sidetracked when this is actually required to beat the game. Let's get going. We got work to do. We gotta rake that queen over the coals. Oh, she's got some explaining to do. Now, if I'm not mistaken. Now, back to mythology. Kaguya's story in mythology. She is indeed an alien. Now, I don't know her story that much in mythology. It's probably the same as it is in the game here. But, yeah. She also has blonde hair in mythology. Yeah, you could... Yeah, I doubt there's anybody in mytho Japanese mythology that had blonde hair. <laughs> but she does have another story in the game... In this game. And... I'm not gonna spoil what that is because that's a spoiler for the... Backstory of another character that we've already met in the game. I'm not gonna spoil who, because that's a huge spoiler for the practically the end of the game, specifically the final battle. Now that we're done with this, we are going to head over to Seon City. Okay, now that we're here in front of the Queen Queen's Palace, normally those guards won't let you in, but if you use Veil of Mist, they won't know that you've went through. Excuse me, I was just- I just had some ginger ale. In fact, there's still a cup right around here. Now, you're gonna want to explore the palace- the outside of this palace in its entirety because you can get a treasure- a, a couple treasures and a stray bead here. Oh, the stray bead- I thought the stray bead was on the other side. Oh, wait, no, the other side is a clover on it. Yeah, this has multiple treasures, though. Yeah, one of- I think a couple of them were also dug underground. Uh, ah, here it is. Uh, what's in here? Oh, the sheep statue. Completely forgot that was there. Uh, so... Well, then again, I guess I can't be surprised because we used Veil Mist to get in here. And over here is a clover that gives, I believe, ten praise. Yep, 10 praise. We're not at the point of the game where we're going to be getting more than 10 praise, and, 10 praise and clovers. But we... It, it, freaking... I love how this area looks. It's like... This is a lot of stuff. I think it has like... Actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring around here because... There's Holy Bone M in there, but there's actually other treasures in both sides of this area. So we're going to be getting those, and we're probably going to be ending the video off. Okay, in here we have a crystal, and here we have a Dadama. I don't know how to spell this, which, like I said in a previous other video. Ooh, Godly Charm. I could actually use that. Now, going over to the other side... Now we're on the other side of the palace. In here we have a bullhorn. And I'm sure there's something else in here. I don't remember what else. Oh yeah. One of these has a scroll that says... Okay. Pearl. 
This one says the Northern Land. We're not going to read that because it's a spoiler for another part of the story. Okay, now that we're done with all that, we're going to enter the palace. Kimiko's palace. Now in here is another stray bead. Yeah, there's one stray bead left in the Seon City Aristocratic Quarters, and we're not going to be able to get that just yet. So, I love how there's an elevator here. Now, check it out. You're going to want to equip the fire tablet. Queen Indigo has, like, the best security system of anyone. Mythology or not. Mythology or modern day. Look at this. We have a freaking sea of lava. You get holy art. That's you got to scroll holy artifacts here because that tells you that you need to get the fire tablet. Yeah, that's how that's, that's how Sa Sa Sanctuary, the Kaguya's bamboo ship was required in the game. Now, we're going to save here. And we're going to end this video off. So next time on Okami, we are going to be entering through those doors. See you guys then.